up guys? Today, I'll be talking about the whale shark, the undisputed giant of the sea. Wait, whale and shark? Which one is it? Well, allow me to clarify. The whale shark is indeed a shark and not a whale. The whale part of its name is only there to represent its massive size, since it holds the title of the biggest fish on earth. A while back, I actually made a video on the second biggest fish on earth, the basking shark. You should like, check that video out. Pretty please? Anyway, the whale shark's scientific name is Rhyngodon typus. But although genera usually have some number of species under it, the whale shark is the only species that's left of the genus Rhyngodon, as well as the only member of the family Rhyngodontidae that it also belongs to. But now, let's get into the physical features. The whale shark isn't the biggest fish for no good reason. It's the champ. Introducing the reigning champ of the sea. Coming in at a maximum length and weight of 61.7 feet long and 34 tons, it's the whale shark! What's up guys? But even though the whale shark can be 61.7 feet long, that's not the norm. Usually they're around 18 to 32 feet, so only like 30 to 50% of the length of the biggest one. Not trying to downplay its size by any means though, just saying they aren't usually that big. But now that I think about it, the biggest whale shark is like 11 mees long. That's kind of crazy. I wonder it's the champ. But despite being the champ, the whale shark is also another gentle giant of the sea since they're harmless to humans. You can even get close to them if you feel like it. They don't really care. You think they like being pet? I swear it's always the scariest looking animals that are actually cute little softies. I gotta try it someday, man. That'd be so cool. Looking at the whale shark, its second most distinguishing feature after its size has gotta be its mouth. Unlike other sharks, its mouth is at the very front of its head instead of on its underside, and its wide mouth can be as wide as around 5 feet across, extending the full width of its head. Inside its mouth are over 300 rows of around 3,000 small teeth running along each jaw, which you'd expect to help them with feeding. But weirdly enough, it's actually believed that they don't help with that at all. In fact, they're basically useless. You could remove all of its teeth and it wouldn't change a thing about how they live. They probably wouldn't even care as long as it didn't hurt. But they do have some teeth that serve an actual purpose. Whale sharks have 3,000 more tiny teeth covering each of their small eyes called dermodenticles, which are tiny tooth-like scales protecting their eyes from injury. It was also found that they can protect their eyes by rotating them back into the eye cavities. Kinda creepy to be honest. For a quick overview of the rest of their body parts, the whale shark has a broad flat head, Five big gill slits that you can't see here, two dorsal fins, two pectoral fins with one you can't see here, two pelvic fins with one you also can't see here, one anal fin, and a large somewhat crescent shaped tail. Their skin is also super thick, being as much as 4 inches thick and having the consistency of rubber. Fun fact, did you know bungee gum has the properties of both rubber and gum? Those who know will get the reference. As adults, their thick rubber-like skin greatly limits their natural predators to just orcas if their sheer size wasn't enough, though even orca attacks are also pretty rare. The coloration of the whale shark's skin is pretty interesting too. Its belly is white, whatever, but the interesting part is above. Its upper body can either be grayish, brownish, or bluish, but it also has a pattern of many creamy white colored spots between pale vertical and horizontal stripes. What's cool is that every whale shark has a unique pattern of spots, so no two whale sharks are the same. That means every whale shark is special. Aww. Whale sharks prefer warm tropical waters, so they can be found in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans, so basically all tropical and temperate waters. Well, all except the Mediterranean Sea. Don't know why though. Maybe they've got something against it. They're also considered to be a pelagic species, meaning open sea, but whale sharks have often been seen just offshore even coming closer inshore. Towards here, they've been seen going into lagoons and coral reefs, but just because they're often seen offshore doesn't mean they always are. One whale shark was recorded diving at least 1,928 meters deep, possibly going for the massive amounts of lanternfish that lived there. What made it want to go down there in the first place? There's no way it's even remotely warm that deep. It's probably ice cold if anything. Despite being the biggest fish, it's kinda ironic that the whale shark eats small prey. Even though it has a huge wide mouth, its throat is super small, often being compared to the size of just an orange. Imagine that. 
biggest fish in the ocean and a grapefruit puts it 6 feet under. Or I guess, maybe it's 10,000 feet under. Either way, kinda embarrassing. Whale sharks are also filter feeders. They have modified gill riggers that can filter food from seawater as small as a millimeter in size, though most of their food is at least somewhat bigger than that. While their filtering system catches both zooplankton and phytoplankton, whale sharks can also eat sea jellies, squid, small crustaceans, and small fishes like sardines. They're able to feed passively by just opening their mouths while swimming, but a more effective way for them to feed is through a suction feeding method. With this method, whale sharks can suck in water at higher speeds letting them more easily catch speedier prey. As for the reproduction habits, we don't have much information as far as that goes. We did learn that whale sharks are ovoviviparous, where the whale shark pups form inside eggs, hatch internally, and are then given birth to fully formed. They grow really slowly though, but we aren't sure of their exact lifespan. Estimates are usually either around 60 or 130 years, but like I said, we don't really know which one. Maybe it's neither. Me personally, I believe the 130 year lifespan. And further adding to our lack of knowledge about whale sharks, very little is known about their mating behavior since it's only been observed twice in the wild and never in an aquarium. According to the IUCN Red List, the whale shark is classified as an endangered species as of this year, so you know it's up to date. I'm sure you also know that them being endangered is a bad thing too. Whale sharks don't have any natural predators other than orcas and stuff, but that's really only for the juveniles, so their only serious threat are humans. I feel like I've said this for all my videos. It's the truth though unfortunately, we cause too many dang problems for this world. Some threats we cause for whale sharks are entanglement in fishing nets, boat strikes, eating debris and microplastics, and sometimes even human interference from unregulated tourism, because some people don't know how to behave themselves around sea life and choose to mess with them. But a big threat we pose is through targeted fishing. Some countries allow whale shark fishing, and in those that don't, they're still fished illegally quite often due to poor enforcement of regulations. In Taiwan, whale shark meat is actually considered a delicacy, where it's sold fresh and at a pretty high price. And that's just the meat. The fins, hide, liver oil, and skeleton are also valuable too, making the entire whale shark worth a pretty dang lot. So that's kinda cool. Wait. That's not cool at all. Anyway, that's about it for today's lesson. Subscribe for more fish facts, and I'll see you next time.